Over the weekend, rock slides triggered by Typhoon Chanthu destroyed a new access road in a mountainous Kaohsiung district. The ruined road has left three villages stranded once again, just weeks after heavy rain destroyed an access bridge. About 400 people are cut off from the outside world. The Highway Bureau says that if the weather stays stable, the road can be cleared by this coming Friday. Large tracks of mud and rocks slide down the slope. This is the Meilan section of Provincial Highway 20 in Kaohsiung's Taoyuan District. Boulders, large and small, blocked off the mouth of a tunnel, which had been cordoned off in advance, preventing casualties. Over by Mimbaklu Bridge, three waves of rock slides struck a newly built access path, leaving villagers stranded once again. In Lavulang Village, locals were seen sweeping up debris. For these children, it was just another day as they played badminton on the street. But even so, fears loom over being trapped in the mountains yet again. Day-to-day -day life is okay, but without a road, we are really worried about being able to carry on in the mountains. We hope that the government repairs the path quickly. There are currently 149 people living in Fuxing village. There are 100 people in Lavulang and another 135 in Meishan, for a total of 384 people stranded by the rock slides. Early in the morning, Highway Bureau personnel went to survey the storm damage. They attempted emergency repairs along Provincial Highway 20, but were forced to evacuate due to rain. It's starting to drizzle here at the mouth of Usui Creek. We have temporarily moved our repair equipment to a safer place. They're headed toward Tinghe to do some pavement finishing. If we don't get any more mudslides or rock slides, we should be able to clear this road by Friday, possibly by the afternoon. The Mimbaklu Bridge was damaged by flooding in early August. A simple road was built to enable access to undamaged sections of the bridge. With the road itself now blocked, locals hope for speedy repairs that restore their lifeline to the outside world.